Um, Germany has strong economic interests in the Middle East. To name a few examples, it is selling tanks to Saudi Arabia and it's providing submarines to Israel. What implications do these relationships have on democracy and the security of the population there? I think they harm the security of the population. Take the submarines, these Dolphin-class submarines that uh, Germany's providing to Israel are instantly refitted in Israel to uh, have nuclear weapons capacity, and that's not aimed at defense of Israel. Nuclear weapons, sub nuclear armed submarines don't defend Israel. They are meant for attack. That's what they are. And we know what attack they're aimed for in the short run. Attack on Iran in the Gulf. Uh, that's a, a terrible threat, not only to the Iranians, but to the world. And Israel, after all, has a doctrine, official doctrine. They say they're free to attack Iran if they choose to. Furthermore, uh, Israel has been, is engaged in what the Pentagon describes as a war against Iran. So is the United States. Uh, the Pen U.S. Pentagon declares that cyber war is an act of war. Uh, NATO last year agreed that at a NATO conference that a cyber attack against any NATO country would call into operation the mutual defense provisions of the NATO treaty, which means every NATO country would be entitled to respond to a cyber attack by a military attack. Now, the U.S. and Israel are not only carrying out cyber attacks against Iran, they're proud of it. You know, it's openly proclaimed with pride. Uh, uh, sabotage cyber attacks. That's an act of war. Uh, killing Iranian nuclear scientists, which is probably carried out by Israel, we're not sure. Uh, would we accept that? And to send uh, submarines, which are in effect nuclear armed submarines, will become so, to Israel at this time is a, 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 an act of, a, a, a radical act of adventurism, which is should not be tolerated by Germany. Got to be. There are other cases too, but this one is particularly egregious. Do you think these policies, not only by Germany but the United States as well, uh, in the Middle East, are contributing to the refugee crisis? They're they're a large part of the basis of the refugee crisis. I should say, uh, Germany is a pretty minor actor and compared with the United States in this respect. I'm not approving of what they're doing, but these are overwhelmingly U.S., secondly British uh, and uh, French policies. Say in the case of destruction of Libya, which had uh, horrible effects for the region and in fact is uh, 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 expanding the refugee crisis, that was primarily a French initiative joined by Britain followed by the United States. Terrible consequences in uh, the Levant and Syria, you know, that area, the uh, source of the crisis, major source, there are two major sources of the crisis which uh, flowed together. One of them is the U.S.-British invasion of Iraq, which hit the country like a sledgehammer. Uh, horrible effects in the country, killed hundreds of thousands of people, destroyed much of the country, and among other things, set off, incited, a sectarian conflict which had not existed before. And that sectarian, it was exacerbated by the torture, the terror, and the other atrocities. Uh, but it, uh, that crisis is now uh, tearing Iraq to shreds and is tearing the region to shreds, expanded to Syria and elsewhere. Uh, that's one factor. The other parallel factor was what uh, Patrick Coburn, one of the leading correspondents in the region, calls the Wahhabization of, the Sunni, of Sunni Islam coming from Saudi Arabia, both with funding and with doctrine. The extremist, radical, uh, Salafi Wahhabi doctrines coming out of Saudi Arabia are being spread through the region with uh, not only money but also uh, clerics, uh, madrasas, lots of uh, devices. And these things coincide. Uh, they have led to, out of that, uh, ISIS, for example, is an outgrowth of them. 
The same with the other uh, jihadi groups in Syria. So the, uh, there's an al-Qaeda affiliate in Syria on this front, which is not that different from ISIS in its commitments, and is supported openly by uh, Saudi Arabia and the other Gulf states, uh, openly by Turkey, uh, indirectly by the U.S., uh, and is uh, uh, part of the destruction of the region. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Russia and Iran are supporting the Assad regime, which is brutal and destructive. Uh, so, but, but the role of the West in, in this is by no means inconsiderable. It's quite substantial. Again, Germany is a kind of a minor player in it. And so far as it supports the West, yes, it, it's a player. But it's primarily the U.S., uh, secondarily Britain and France.